If you've ever visited or even driven through Willabunch, there are two names that you will see everywhere that have left a lasting impact on the cozy bilingual community. Today, we're going to learn about them. Welcome to Willabunch Museum. We're here today with Nicole Lesperance Gilner. Nicole, who is this fellow we're standing beside? This is Edouard Beaupre. It's actually my great uncle. Uh, he was born in 1881, and he's also known as the Willabunch Giant. Wow, so how, how tall is he? He grew to an amazing height of eight foot three. Incredible. Yeah. And he's from the community? Yes, he was born and raised here. By age three, he started showing signs that he was going to be a fairly tall boy, but by age nine, he had outgrew his parents. He was six feet tall. Then eventually, about age 21, he got into the circus acts. And when he was traveling at age 21, he contracted uh, tuberculosis. Unfortunately, on uh, July 3rd, 1904, he passed away at 1.15 in the morning. So once, so he passed away in St. Louis, down in the States. Yeah. And I guess what happened from there? 1907, his body was discovered in a warehouse. It was abandoned and some children came upon it and uh, the University of Montreal acquired his body from there and then they did studying and then it was in the 70s that actually my dad Oval Lesperance discovered or was informed that he was on display at the University of Montreal so he went down and saw that they had him in this glass case and they demanded that he be brought home and be laid to rest. In 1989 they, the University agreed that that they would release his body. And then in 1990, he was brought home and a memorial service was had. And he's now laid to rest in front of the museum. Beautiful. Yeah. Incredible Beautiful to story. have him home. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Well, Nicole, yeah. I want to thank you for sharing the story <laughs> with us yeah, and for everything you've done yeah. in the community to keep him, keep his memory alive and thriving. <laughs> We're here with Doris O'Reilly, local historian here in Willabunch, and she's going to tell us a little bit about Jean-Louis Leguerre. How'd I do? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So would you be able to tell us a little bit about Jean-Louis's significance to the community? Uh, Jean-Louis Leguerre was born in Quebec, of course. When he was 17 years old, he traveled to the States for a few years, and he ended up in Pembina took up work with fur traders, and that's how he began his life. And he came to Wood Mountain, Willow Bunch, which was always connected. He's known as being a very hard worker, an honest man. Opened up a store in Wood Mountain, and Sitting Bull and the entourage came to Canada. One by one, they came in. They all sat around the floor for a while. And finally, they spoke up. We're from the United States, and we have not been able to sleep in peace. So we came to Canada because we heard that the big woman, who was Queen Victoria they were referring to, was good to her children, so we wanted to come and stay in Canada. They were hungry and they wanted some things from the store, so finally he gave them some ammunition and some tobacco and a few things they wanted, and they went home. And the next morning when he got up, the whole tribe was there and everybody came. There were 70 <laughs> lodges parked around his, his store. So that was the start with Sitting Bull, and he always looked after them. Sitting Bull came across here to Willowbunch then. They set up at where the golf course is now, and that's famous. It's known because that's where Sitting Bull's last encampment was before they moved them back to the States. They were starving when they came here to Canada, and he, he, they survived because of Jean-Louis. And we always called him one of the founders of Willow Bunch, you know, because he did do a lot for Willow Bunch. Well, is there any other stories about the area that you'd like to share? Probably, I'd have lots of stories, but I don't know if you'd have the time to listen to all of them. <laughs> well, uh, that, on that note, I will let you go. Thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. You're welcome. I had fun doing this. <laughs> Amazing. Well, you take care. Thank you.